Hello there, I'm Wellington with PX5 and today I'll show you how to get an IoT device running PX5 RTOS and PX5 NET connected to AWS IoT. In this video I'll show you an IoT end-to-end -end scenario and the necessary stack to make it work. We'll see how to get the device connected in a demo and then I'll share some resources. So let's take a look at this end-to-end -end connection. And it all starts with an IoT device, which has a temperature sensor and an actuator. In this case, it's just a simple LED. So this is an STM32 device that's running PX5 RTOS and PX5 NET. This device will be connected to AWS IoT. In this case, this is an MQTT broker. And the device will be publishing or sending telemetry data, so the temperature data and it will be subscribing to get commands from AWS IoT, which in turn will turn the LED on and off. And of course, because this is an industry grade kind of scenario, this connection between the device and AWS IoT is not open. It has TLS encryption. And for that, the device will also have the certificate with a PK and the root CA in order to establish this secure connection between device and AWS IoT. Now let's take a look at the IoT stack necessary to make this example works. It all starts here at the bottom with the hardware. In this case, it will be an STM32 based microcontroller. On top of these, we have PX5 RTOS and then the PX5 NAT TCP IP stack which provides, well, IP, TCP, UDP, um, BST socket API, packet management, DHCP, and DNS, among other services. And then we also need two additional libraries. The first one is PAHO, which is our MQTT client, providing services like connection, publish, subscribe, serialization, and others. And also embed TLS, which will be taking care of all of the security aspects of this connection. So crypto, SSL, TLS, X509 certs, and all of the other security aspects of this example. And then finally, on top of all of this tech, we have the IoT sample code. Now let's take a look at the resources we need to get this device connected. The first one is an AWS subscription. Then we're gonna be setting up the IoT stack when we create a thing, then we'll need to create all of the certificates and we need to create and attach policies. Then we'll get this PX5 RTOS working sample, getting the sample, configuring the header files, and don't worry about all of this creation and attaching because this Python script we're providing has these details for you there. And then we're getting the device connected. So the IoT sample package that has both uh, the source code for this sample and also the scripts, you will find in the description below the link for that. The device we'll be using for this demo is the STM32F769. Let's take a look at the demo. Okay, so the first step is to visit px5rtos.com. Then we're going to solutions and free middleware integrations. And then under this page, we'll scroll down. And then here you'll see Amazon AWS. This is where you can download all of the necessary files to keep up with this demo. I already have this package downloaded here. So let's take a look at the guide. Here you will find all of the information you need to run this demo. All right, so let's follow it. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm already logged in into my account and I'm going to be looking at the Identity and Access Manager. The first thing we need to do here is to make a note of which of the areas we're going to be using for this demo. In my case, I will take US West 1 for Northern California. So I'll make a note of this US West 1. Like this. Then we can go back and I'll hit users because we're going to be creating a user. Create user. I'm going to call this user PX demo. 
we need to check this box to give access to AWS Management Console and I'm gonna say that I want to create IAM user. We're fine with the auto-generated password and then just hit next. Here I'm gonna say I'm gonna attach policies directly and the policy we need is the IoT full. Here is the IoT full access. Let me click this box here. This is the easiest way to get this device working out of the box. Hit next. And seems reviewing this. Seems like we're all good. I'll go ahead and create user. Okay, the device is created, so we're fine. We don't need this. Um, login details we won't be logging into the device so we'll just return to user list and hit continue now we're back to the user list I'm gonna click on PX demo the device or the user we just created and I'm gonna go ahead and hit create access key this access key will be for command line interface and then hit confirm that you understand what you're doing and then hit next I don't need a tag, so I'll just go ahead and create the access key. Now here we need to copy both the access and the secret access key. So I'll go ahead and create, copy this one here. Go back to Notepad and save that here. I also need the secret access key and I'll save it here as well. Now we need to go back at the folder in which we have all of the files we downloaded and we're going to open AWS IoT and here we will find the script we need to run now so let's do it so as you can see here I have the PX5 net Python script we need to run so let me run it And the first thing it does is asking me the access key. So let me copy it. It also asks for the secret key. So let me copy that one as well. And finally, it, it asks for the region. So let me add the region here. All right, so all of the magic has happened. And if we go back, here to the file you see that now we have this config file created which is what we need now we can go ahead and run IAR to test if everything is working fine so we're back to the folder here and now we're looking at the STM32 F769 PX5 net folder and then EWARM and here is the project we need to open so now I'll get my STM32 F769 and get it connected to com the computer. There you go. And now I can run the sample. Okay, seems like my device is already connected both to the internet and to AWS. So let's take a look at that interface to see if everything is working fine. Now back to AWS portal, I'll go and visit IoT Core Services where we have this MQTT test client, so I'm going to open it. And we will subscribe to a topic, in this case it is the temperature. Hit subscribe. So as you can see, the messages are coming, the device is publishing um, this telemetry data, the temperature data, and every second I have a new message coming. So let's now see how it works if I want to send a command or a message back to the device. In order to do that, I'll click publish to a topic. Topic name is LED. And the message I want to send is either on or off. So let me put the device here so you can see it as well. Okay, so I managed to squeeze both the camera showing the device, which is here, and also the AWS interface. So I'm ready here to publish to the topic name LED a message that says on. So let me go ahead here and publish. And we should see the LEDs here at the, at the board uh, lighting up. Let's try. Okay, so as you can see here, we have these two LEDs on. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in a bit more. 
Okay, now it's better. So these are the LEDs, the LED one and two. So let me go ahead now and publish a message that says off and hit publish. And there you go. These LEDs are now off. So it's now working for both sending telemetry data with the temperature and getting commands back to turn these LEDs on board on and off. Okay, so that was the demo. Now, before leaving, don't forget to clean all of the AWS resources you don't need anymore. And also take a look at the link below for additional PX5 RTOS samples in our page. So that's it. That's all we had for today. As always, if you need to learn more about PX5 RTOS, our website, px5rtos.com, you can always email us or message us with questions, comments, or requests for a quote at info at px5rtos.com. Thank you for your interest.